Today we're going to explore three little rings using an induction tube. Now for this experiment you will need an induction tube. I've clamped my induction tube at this end with a clamp, but when you do your experiment you just simply use your hands for that. Now inside the induction tube is a cylindrical magnet. It's a very strong magnet and at this end is a south pole and at the other end is a north pole. Now the next thing you will need is a control rod. The control rod has a small piece of iron in the tip. The idea of the tip with the iron in it is to allow it to attach itself to the cylindrical magnet inside the tube. Now this allows me then to control both the movement and also the position of the magnet. Here we have our three little rings. Now these three little rings have different properties and we're going to find out a little bit about those properties now. Now the first ring is a solid piece of aluminium. Now what I'm going to do is to place it onto the tube and I'm going to pull the magnet through the ring and I want you to think about what might happen. Well, that looks interesting. Let's try the second ring. Now, this ring is also aluminium, but it's had a slot cut in one end there. Now, what do you think will happen this time? Hmm, not a lot happening here. Let's try the last ring. Now this ring seems to be solid. Very similar to the first ring. Now, what do you expect to happen this time? Who would have thought that? Thank you.